a ULA Atlas V rocket and a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket are about to blast off from Cape Canaveral just a little over 12 hours apart. Now the last time two rockets lifted off from the Cape that close together was 1967, where from Pad 17, just a couple miles from where I'm standing, a Thor Delta G rocket lifted off with Biosat 2. And then just about 10 hours later, from the site behind me at Launch Pad 36, an Atlas Centaur lifted off with Surveyor 5, which landed on the moon. And much like that Surveyor 5 mission, the second launch in this upcoming sequence of launches is going to be KPLO, the Korean Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter, which, as the name implies, is designed to head for the moon. Let's watch. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket for United Launch Alliance carrying Sivers Geo six for the United States Space Force. of Jesse Gonzalez providing launch vehicle ascent data.
station engine response looks good. And Centaur has begun the boost base chill down sequence to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a 4.6 G acceleration limit until the go. We have Eco, booster engine cutoff. And we have stage separation. Change and restart on the RL10. And we have MES1. And a good indication of uh, payload parent jettison. This is Atlas Mission minutes. Control at T plus five minutes. We just heard Flight Commentator Jesse Gonzalez confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. Our next event, Centaur Main Engine Cutoff, will occur in about eight minutes. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. Three, Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Power carrying the KPLO payload to a ballistic lunar transfer orbit. So we are beginning to throttle down the engines on the first stage to prepare for a period known as Max-Q. During this period, the vehicle is going to experience the highest amount of aerodynamic stresses vehicle on the tire. And there was Max Q. So the engines are coming back up to full power. Uh, we have three events coming up in quick succession in about a minute. Uh, first up is MECO, that stands for Main Engine Cutoff, followed by Stage Separation, and then SES-1, which stands for Second Engine Start-1. Main Engine Cutoff is where the first and second stages of Main occurred. Engine Cutoff is where the nine engines on the first stage will shut off in preparation for stage separation. That is where the first and second stages will separate from one another. The first stage will make its way back to our drone ship to attempt its sixth landing. And the second stage will continue with SES-1, which is where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will start up and continue to propel our KPLO satellite to its desired orbit. events are coming up in about 10 seconds. For now, we are enjoying some excellent, excellent views of Falcon 9 during its ascent. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Ignition. Uh, we saw the confirmation of stage separation and uh, the ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Uh, coming up in um, a few seconds, we're going to be looking for fairing deploy. Uh, those fairing halves will separate from the top of the second stage and make their way back to Earth. Fairing separation confirmed.
and off they come. So uh, those two fairing halves are now falling back to Earth. Uh, those are the fourth flight for both of these fairing halves, and we are going to be tempted to retrieve them with, our, with the help of our recovery vessel, Bob. So we're coming up on T-plus four minutes into the mission. We have a couple of views on screen. On the left-hand side is a view of that first stage, uh, continuing to make its way back to Earth. And on the right-hand side is a view of the Merlin vacuum engine. Uh, on the opposite side of that engine is uh, the second stage and uh, the KPLO payload. So things continuing to uh, go smoothly after liftoff, the next major milestone for the first stage occurs uh, around the T plus six minute and 50 second mark. It's going to be the first of two burns. Nominal trajectory. Uh, the first burn is going to be called the entry burn. This is where we will relight the center engine, center uh, engine number nine, followed by engines number one and five. That way we'll have three.